Hey guys, this is Ant from Games to Find, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a V Ray lighting studio. So, to get started, we'll just create a plane. Here we go, let's create this plane so we can put our object onto it. Just like this. Let's set the length and width segments to 1, and we'll just convert this to an editable poly. Now, select edge mode, we'll press number two on the keyboard, select this back edge, going to move, select the move mode, holding shift, drag it up on the Z axis, there we go, and then just select this bottom corner, go to the chamfer settings box, change the chamfer amount to this so it's nice and smooth, there we go, and just make this a bit, we'll just come out of edge mode and make this a bit wider like so and just a bit longer there we go, just remove the grid and now we'll select an object, so we'll make a torus knot there we go, come into extended primitives, select torus knot like so this will do We'll just change the radius to about 21 ish. So we'll, do. we'll just bring it up a bit. Like so. Okay, now that's done. We need to change the material. So if you press M or make sure you're in V ray renderer, obviously. So if we select this, drag that onto the background, drag this color onto the torus knot, select standard. and then come down to V-Ray material we'll make this something like uh, let's make it let's make it red like that that's good we'll change reflect to about 91 that should be fine and then we'll put we'll enable Fresnel reflections so, as you can see, let me just change the background. And there we go, it's quite reflective. I'm just going to knock this down a bit actually to 59. That's fine. Okay, now once that's done, we want to change the background to just a standard grey material. That's fine. That will do nicely. Okay, we'll just change the, we'll make this a bit smaller. Holding Shift and F brings up the safe frames, show safe frames, so we'll do that. Just make sure this is touching the plane floor, which it's not. There we go, that should be good. Okay, now that's done, we're going to add the lights. So if we come to the lights on the drop down menu, select V ray and then V ray light. From the top view, just make a nice simple light, like so change this to shaded for the meantime we want. okay we'll just drag this up about there should be good come into modify and select targeted now if we just select the bottom target just drag it up to about here that should be fine okay now just change the settings of this light down to about 12 for the multiplier and then we want to come down to texture select none and in the V-Ray menu select softbox and then open up materials just drag this into a, an empty slot and create an instance so we can edit it now if we scroll down click on for radial vignette and then click flip there we go and we'll just add a slight tint of blue, I don't know how much you can see that, but it is there. Okay, so that's that. If we just zoom in a bit and just change the view a bit, and if we make a render of this,
with this that's the render done it's a bit dark so if you just come down to the bottom and click display colors in srgb space this makes it a bit brighter and much better render but it's not very it's a bit noisy as you can see there so we'll just up the subdivisions on the light here we are change it from 8 to 16 and if we just take another render of this it is slightly better but we're gonna be adding a few more lights to this yet so we just cross this off and then select the top light holding down shift we're just gonna drag it to the side like so make a copy and in the modifier we we'll change this down to about eight eight should be fine and then we'll make a copy of this Back, make an instance and leave that as 8 and then if we just in fact we we'll just want to drag this light up a bit like that make another render see how that turns out Okay, so there we go, that's the render complete. It's a bit, uh, well, it's actually quite a bit brighter, that was before, and this is after. So, what I'm going to do is just make these lights, mu light multiplies a bit higher, and then I'm just going to add another light on the front, not, not majorly bright, and then just to get rid of this shadow down here. Okay, so we'll just cross off this render right here into a different view make this about 14 that should be ample and make this one about 10 and that should automatically change this one yep it does okay so now we want to create the front light to get rid of this shadow on the floor so oops, if we just select the top light here we go and just make a sorry this view coming to this view is much much easier we just hold shift drag that make this a copy and change the multiply to about five and then if we just take another render of this that should not happen oh I know why because we need to make this light invisible and these ones as well on the side this light invisible and then if we just re-render this there we go
Okay, so there's the render finished. As you can see with the light on the front, it's a lot better. There's no more dark shadows and they're actually quite soft, which is a bonus. So that's the lighting done. In fact, these sides look slightly too dark. So what I'm going to do is just edit these ones at the side. I'm just drag them back a bit. And then the same for this one. Just up the multiplier to 11. And then I'm just going to, for the final render, I'm just going to up the sides on this torus knot so it's a bit, a bit better. Okay, that should be fine. Now if we make one final render of this. Okay, so there we have the final render, which looks pretty good. The torus knot is a bit, it could have done with more edges, but you know, that's besides the point anyway. The point was to show render and uh, it's turned out pretty good. So that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, then please leave a like, sorry, leave a comment. If you have any questions, like and subscribe for more videos on 3ds Max. Thanks for watching.